you think that if Peter Obi had won the election, <coughs> 2023 presidential election, he had become president, there could have been a change in all of this? If Peter Obi had won, you probably would have seen a better Nigeria than what we are seeing today. That is a very simple fact that cannot be argued. If Peter Obi were to be the president of Nigeria, things would have been very, very different, practically, as in positively very, very different, honestly. And uh, there is one particular thing, there is something this man said in this video that I want us to talk about. Just pay attention to that particular message. That is a particular strong message that I want to bring to the people's attention. Because for, to me, most of these things going on in the southeastern part of Nigeria, most of the eastern politicians are the cause. They are part of the cause of that particular uh, uh, situation. And this man is bringing that particular point here. Just come down and pay attention to everything. We'll talk about it. I'll be right back. If number one, he will not be as nepotistic as this government. He won't. He, he, he not in him. That is just who we are. We feel for the other people. So you think the Tinubu government is highly nepotistic? I, I say so. I'm not, I don't think so. I'm seeing it and we see it every day. And I've just given you one example. How can Ogun State have four ministers? Well, Tinubu is not from Ogun State. That is the point. So why does he... Do you think? Favor, favor, favor Ogun State. It, look, Ogun oh, State has only one minister. <laughs> Ask yourself that. What so, is it, what so is it that he's doing? Is, is it the right time for the Igbos and the South, people of the South is a strategy, to sit down and rethink their politics? No, uh, see, see, see what we're doing. Uh, 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 show, because everybody continues to say that, why don't you think you will? Well, no, we have decided. And I'm part of those who have said that. Let us go back to the Southeast and revamp the Southeast and make it more livable, better, more cohesive, and hold ourselves together. Because it's obvious that if we continue to look at whoever comes to be president, to look at us and do right, apart from Obasanjo and maybe Jonathan, I do not think that we have seen that same type of fairness. Yeah, I believe uh, you heard everything the man said correctly. And uh, I was uh, so happy to hear from uh, this uh, senator, Enyina Abaribe, that he is part of the people that have decided, that he is part of the politicians, the, the southeastern politicians that have decided that they go back to the southeast and revamp that particular region and do something meaningful in that particular place to make it livable. You know, I can tell you that this is 90% as in, this is almost the major cause of that agitation that has been happening in the Southeast. This is one of the major causes. If most of these politicians we have in that region have been together all this while, if they have all come together all this while, think of what to do, bring out agendas as in plans, to make that particular region very very livable i don't think if there will be anything like agitation from anywhere you know but one of the major reasons why people are agitating is you get allocations every month from the federal government allocation comes to the state senators house of rep members every other person gets allocation to do something in their place but all those money that comes from that allocation goes into private accounts how do you expect the people to keep quiet this is one thing that I've been saying, one thing that I've been saying since, that it's time that the politicians we have in the eastern part of Nigeria come together, work together with the local people, let's say Ohanes and Dibo. We work together as one family to make that particular region very, very livable. I gave example with something that happened in Spain, that Catalonia and uh, the rest of them. We do not have to keep waiting until we leave Nigeria before we start doing things for the people there. Besides, most of the politicians from the southeastern part of Nigeria gets allocation every month. The same thing I've been saying, of which if people are very, very interested in making things work there, they can work together as a team. All the politicians, bring your heads together, bring out plans, bring out agendas, ideas on how to move that particular region forward. You can do this. 
And before you know it, most of all this agitation that comes up, that a lot of people looks at uh, the federal government, not knowing that most of the reason, as in most of the things that is the cause of, as in the delay of development in that region, is in the hands of the politicians in that region. You know, most of the ag agitation that comes up because of this, will just die down naturally. All of them will go down. Because I remember in, uh, some couple of uh, months ago or some couple of weeks ago, it was said, like Bola Metinubu said, that he shared like 400 and something billion to each state governor, which is, if you calculate the 400 and something billion that was shared within that uh, time, like to five states is around, uh, around uh, one point something trillion that came to the southeastern part of Nigeria. What did they use it for? What did they use the money to do for the people? You see, that's why I've kept saying that most of the politicians from the southeastern part of Nigeria are the major cause of that agitation. Because if, if you've been taking up projects, constructing roads, building schools, building hospitals, uh, uh, putting all kinds of uh, different types of uh, subsidy to education, to make all, every, everybody from that eastern part of Nigeria have access to better education, provide water for the people, provide a lot of things, that money is more than enough to do all these things. But one of the major reasons is, I don't know why the people, the politicians, I don't know why the leaders there are greedy. You, 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 you pocket the money and blame the agitators when you know that what you are holding, the money you are keeping in your account is one of the major reasons why they are agitating. You know, if this kind of idea have come up for a very long time now, I so much believe that by now, the southeastern part of Nigeria would have been more calm than any other part of the, the, the country. As you know that we are very peaceful people. We don't make troubles. We don't uh, engage in whatever unnecessary argument. Only uh, 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 if uh, things uh, go wrong like what is happening now. You know, this is a very welcome development. And I, I, I just wish this man can bring this particular thing uh, forward as in can make this thing come to pass as fast as possible. So that they can achieve something that will calm the southeastern people down. That will give people hope of better tomorrow. Honestly, because if there are projects going on, just like what I said in one of my videos, like if you come to the southeastern part of Nigeria, we have a lot of bad roads, which has been blamed on the federal government, you know, for not paying attention to that particular region. We have a lot of bad roads. For example, now, just like what this man said here, this Senator Abaribe said, if you people can come together as one family, which is what we are, Ndeibo, if you people can come together, Gather all the local road construction companies in that particular region. Gather all of them. You know, I can bet you, I can boldly tell you that they can give you the standard of road that will surprise you. But the only thing that most of these people lack is funding, mobilization. If you can come together, all the politicians in the southeastern part of Nigeria can come together, gather all these local road construction companies, mobilize them. I am not talking of the type of mobilization that you give money and through the back you go and collect almost half of the money you give to them. No. You mobilize them and allow them to do their job so they can have enough money to, to procure materials, to buy materials that will be enough to do the job. Gather these people, mobilize them and you will be so surprised that if, even if we have 10,000 bad roads in, in the southeastern part of Nigeria, these people will put it as an, in order within a very short time. Honestly. And I can tell you that if this type of thing start going on, you will find out that you will hardly see anywhere that any agit agitation will come up from. Because these are the major causes. Uh, people are not seeing what they are supposed to see from government. We have a lot of schools, let me say from primary school, secondary school, from as in different types of school in the southeastern part of Nigeria, that when you pass there, you will think that it is as in, uh, like a poetry. But it is where children go to school. We have a lot of them like that that if these people can come together, decide to make things happen in that region. Development is what people brings in. It is not spirit that does it. Anywhere you see that is very developed in the world, it is people that made it happen. If you people can come together and start making things like that happen in that region, all this agitation, all this divide Nigeria campaign, all this uh, whatever, whatever thing, the killings, all of them will go down because people will not see any more reason to agitate. I can tell you, that if you, if you people, all the politicians in the southeastern part of Nigeria, come together and start doing things that will convince the people that, yes, all of us are together. Yes, tomorrow will be better. I believe you me, nothing will bring up anything like agitation from any direction. Honestly. 
but this type of uh, poli uh, politics, this type of uh, uh, this system of politics will play in Nigeria, where once money comes into the hands of a politician, it is like his own personal money. With that type of uh, politics, you uh, just uh, be ready to face whatever thing that will come out, because agitation will never stop until things begin to happen the way it is supposed to happen. Which I have said it, that we, as Ndibo, we are not supposed to keep waiting for the federal government of Nigeria to change their system. This particular idea you, Senator Abaribe, is bringing here, that you are part of the people that have decided to go and revamp the southeastern part of Nigeria, this particular idea can make a lot of things calm down in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Because with that idea, a lot of roads will be constructed, a lot of schools will be rebuilt, a lot of uh, people will be empowered, a lot of hospitals will be pr uh, put in place, they will be equipped, a lot of, uh, so many things will be done for the people, which I so much believe that even before now, the money has been there. Just that a lot of people, most of those politicians, just uh, like all of you, decides to keep major part of the money in private accounts, you know, which is one of the major causes of that agitation. Come together as one family, start working for the people. We can have, as in with this, if, if there can be that togetherness, the way it is supposed to be, we can have a system of security. We can, we can have a security system, private security system. I will not call it regional, but let me say, uh, uh, like our own private security system that maybe will be called Ohanese security, that, that will be very, very gallant, that will make it as in very hard for any type of terrorist or any type of bandit to penetrate into that region. You know, we can do this for the people and then they will have that peace of mind at home from where a lot of people will have hope that tomorrow will be better. And from there, a lot of minds will come down. This is one of the major reasons why we have that agitation there. Because a lot of people keep blaming the federal government while the money that is supposed to put in the development that people are expecting from the, the federal government are in the hands of the, politi the local politicians from that region especially the ministers, the senators like you, the governors, the House of uh, uh, Rep members, the House of Assembly and the rest of them. But the private, the pocket, the money. You can't expect the people to keep quiet when most of all these things are going on. So I just wish you can make these things start happening as immediate and as fast as possible. Because that is one thing that is going to be a better solution to whatever thing happening in that region. Believe you me. I don't want to say much about this. I just came across uh, this particular information. I decided to uh, kind of uh, add in my own voice to uh, uh, make the people understand how, how better, how good it will be if this kind of a thing can start on time and very fast. You know? Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you so much for sharing our videos. Still, man, no man, Maurice Mezikoba, the top class media. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you.